Hey guys, it's Brenda from my baby birth cradle. In this video, I want to change out Nora's body. She is the Ashton Drake. Nora. Okay, wait. This is. I was gonna show you this, but I'll just show you Nora first. She is in Ashton Drake. And I would like to open her up, see what's inside of her body, and give her a new real cloth reborn body. Um, hopefully this one, this was just in my stash. Um, I ordered from McPherson's online, so um, I do have a couple of bodies here in my uh, stash of Reborn supplies, and I will share with you my reweighting supplies in a minute. But um, she does have armatures, see, but um, I will take them out and um, give her a new body. I'll take off this diaper that Ashton Drake sent with her. I'll probably put on a real one. You can't really see, but I really don't like how these legs are. I really don't. I mean, sure, you can dress her up and hide them, but I don't know. This, this body, considering how wonderfully chunky her legs are, they just don't match this tiny little thing. So, but I love her face and I love her limbs and um, her hair. I never did anything with her hair yet, so I'd love to comb it out. And um, but I love how it's curly like that. And for Nash and Drake, it's actually really nice. But anyways. Before the day gets too hot, I really, really want to share this with you. Um... This hasn't been used in a long time. Ignore the dust. Um, I used to reweight a lot of my dolls. I haven't in a long time. But I want to share with you the supplies that I use. So in here, let's see if I could just point you down for a minute. This is polyfill from McPherson's itself. It's called like the body fluff or something baby fluff i don't know but i also used to buy polyfill from walmart uh, this stuff is like clumpy i forget the name of it i will link it i will share everything down below in the description okay so yeah i'll do that okay there's a few different things in here this bag Right here is recycled glass beads from Princess Auto in Canada. Now, if you're from the States, um, it's just an auto body shop. And these are sandblasting materials. Um, they use this for cleaning, like sandblasting vehicles and stuff when they repurpose them or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know that this is what recycled glass beads look like, and it's the smallest um, grind number. Again, I will link everything down below that is in here, except for I can't really link like Dollar Tree items, but I will tell you what they are, or at least find a picture if I can of it. Um, but these are bigger. Now this, this fine, fine, it is, these are glass beads. And these are super, super, super powdery and super fine and super soft. Wow. Like it doesn't even feel like beans. It feels like a liquid. It's kind of weird to explain. But I bought a big giant bag. In fact, I do have it. It lasted me forever and ever and ever. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. So 
So, it says glass beans. And, I don't know. But it comes in this, like, yeah, I tried to move you back a little bit. But it comes in this big, giant, like, lined bag like this. So yeah, I bought that from Princess Auto, and it looks extremely powdery. I will not use that powder stuff in the body. I like using that in their limbs, because, um, let's see, um, it just makes their limbs, like, listen, if you can... That's the sound of beads. This stuff will not make a sound and super soft, but yeah, it's heavy. So I will use this stuff in their bodies, like the bigger granules. So, and this is just extra, let's see, move back. And this is just extra polyfill from McPherson's. Comes to you in a bag like this. And this is just um, a bag of beads that I, I've already made. Ooh. So, and there's, it also comes with this big giant. I keep this in here. I have a funnel. And this is actually one of those espressos milk feather thingy they never use <laughs> okay so i will where's that chair okay and this container contains um i bought some belly fat from mcpherson's so all it is, is like belly fat but i put them in these these um stockings already just to keep them contained so I'm not sure if I want to use belly fat in her or not maybe I I don't know yet so I'll move this stuff and this is from McPherson's it's an 18 inch with three quarter arm and full legs front loading in nude I don't know what <laughs> um but I will not be using these. These. These are um, ones I got from the dollar store. They are the smallest, like, ever that I've ever seen in, this, in a store. But I bought them from the Dollar Tree in Canada. So, but I'll show you what the... See, compared to McPherson's... They are pretty, pretty good. These are McPherson's doll ones. Super, super tiny. And then these. So they come extremely close. I've seen doll artists use these, but they had a big fat, like a big chunk of end right here. So I just replace them. They're not hard to replace, actually. But I always stock up. I have a whole bunch of these. Like, they're only a dollar for a package. But this is what they look like. If you can see that. Nylon cable ties. They are 11 inch. And they're by Tool Bench. But yeah, I found them at the Dollar Tree. And also at the Dollar Tree. Where's my... Oh, here's my... Just put her up here. And let's... My floor is squeaky. I also buy these from the Dollar Tree. These are um, stockings. I either buy the knee highs or the full ones. I prefer the knee highs. That way I don't have to deal with the, the middle part. But yeah, knee high stockings. They're only a dollar. This is more polyfill fluff. Um, this is some more bodies that I have in my collection. 
I have, like I said, I have a whole whack of these in a bunch. Um, these are black stockings when they ran out of um, brown. So I did use these and then I thought, nah. See, I was starting to, but then I replaced it with this brown. These are some extra ties. Probably never use them unless I unless I actually try and reborn myself and sell, which I do want to do one day. It's a dream, <laughs> a dream of mine. But yeah, down here is just more stockings. So yeah, this is my re-waiting surprise. So let's open her up. I have scissors. Okay, let's see if you're. Oops, the windows. Okay, this is a little higher. See, I love her chunky. I love that, but I don't like this at all. Move that out of the way. Okay, I have scissors. Another tip to use are clippers, nail clippers. They get really, really close at those zip ties. So I'll show you what I mean. I never use these on myself or any other human. <laughs> They're only for the my hobby. So let's, hopefully you can see everything. I'm not sure if I want to use that baby fat, but let's open her. Okay. I had to go and get my reading glasses. <laughs> my eyes are bad. I do wear contacts, but um, oh look, she's attached. She's attached, but that's okay. I don't want to wreck her. Why not? I don't care about wrecking this body. So, this is McPherson's glass beads. Well, at least they're upgrading their products. I remember opening up an Ashton Drake and it was like, not that. <laughs> so, that's an improvement with what they're using. I'm just trying to empty out. Okay. Because I will add stuff to her like I do how I the reborns. So at the bottom is I use um the glass beads starting at the bottom, not the top. Don't have tweezers on me. One lid.
Okay guys, so I had to turn on the air conditioner. I'm starting to sweat. That was really not an easy task. I poked my finger a couple of times, so be very careful when you take off the limbs and their like their twist eyes. Um like in here. Like when you cut them, they're very, very sharp. Like extremely like let me see if I can pull one out or at least show you can you see how sharp oh wait <laughs> sorry Let's see if you can zoom in look how sharp that is so be very careful when you take off the parts now the head may be ooh the head is actually sewn on so I'm just gonna rip her open and I'm gonna cut it as close as I can and see what was in her too curious oh she's all blurry sorry about that okay trying to cut her and see what's inside ooh they have upgraded can you see that it's silk before they used to use like like I just put them in the glass but they used to use like plastic all the, everywhere and they had like black dirt and sand. Let's see what they have in their silk pouch. Oh wow. They have totally upgraded their game. Those are they look like recycled. Wow. I am impressed at Ash and Drake's. Uh well, compared to what they were. Wow. They're actually impressive. These look like recycled, but they're bigger beans. They're not as fine as... Hmm. Wow. So anyways, because her head is like attached, I am going to cut... Oh, look, there's a cardboard right there. I'm just going to cut off. Oh. Fell off. Oh, her head is packed. I thought it was hard because of the styrofoam or something, but okay, let's just cut off this material. Get it out of the way. And then I'll trim down as I get rid of all this mess. Poor girl has it in her hair. <laughs> so now she is like this. And this is attached. So we're going to have to cut it. Or is that like a ring? Just gonna try and cut it. Can you see that? Sarah coughing a bit, so. but I took out. So there is weight in here.
So, if you wanted to put a magnet in here, I guess you could. Hey guys, so I took a short break. <laughs> I was just starting to sweat so much. Okay, so her limbs are empty. I have a new towel down. Um, I think I will use the same stuffing. I mean, nothing's wrong with it. I don't have a problem with it. I'll probably want to use this chunky stuff first. So I have twist ties ready. Um, her body is right here. But I also, I need to fill these up too with, with stuff. So I am planning on filling her up with the fine glass beads up to about here. And then the rest polyfill. So, um, Um, I like this funnel because it's bendable. It's a silicone. Let's see what I'm doing, hopefully. Oh, not too much. And then they just tap it. about these glass beads is that they're so like, messy. Okay, so I can sort of see that these are pretty elbow. Just make sure that well, I guess it's not going down to her fingers. Just tap on it. But see when I squish it it's like so soft and you can't you can't hear the squish at all. But it gives her some weight. I think I want a bit more. I think it's like right here. I want it just higher. So. Just a little bit more. And I'll just stuff it with this. I changed my mind about using this in the head. It's kind of big and it's heavy. And her head, because it's so hard, it's kind of heavy anyway. So I'll take one of these darker colored ones. 
for her head because no one's going to see it. Put it around here. And I'm going to fill it with this recycled. Yeah, just something small. Let's see what it might feel like. Do I want more or less? Yeah, I think that's about it. Well, it's in there anyway, so I'm going to just... Normally I like to double them up though. But it's too late for that. I'm just gonna stuff up her head with a bunch of so a little knot on the end of this for next time. And I just sort to use it. I might want to use it for the body anyway. For the upper part. I don't know yet. the body I might might not okay now for a head oh yeah that's a good weight yay I'm happy okay now for the body I'll save this for the church and I might make another one, I don't know, for the upper body, we'll see. So, let's see. Ooh, it's tapered chest even. Okay, so now when you put in twist ties, you make sure that the, the bumpy Upper, like this part is facing out so you want it facing out or up not down you're not making a circle like this you're making a circle with this on the outside facing up so I'll string this in there get it ready like this I'll do one for the other side. I'm not even sure if this is right. <laughs> Whoops! Good thing. And that's why I have lots of extra ties. I have like lots, probably over a hundred. Every time I go to the city, I'll pick up, I'll pick up some. Well, that was a dud, duh. Make sure, make sure that your legs are proper. Oh my goodness. Which is good. All the way down and then just cover it. Okay, so those are the legs. Now for the tush. 
I think I want, I've never done this in a while, but I'm pretty sure I nest, I made a nest with polyfill first. Or tried to. So you make a nest with some polyfill. this in there to maneuver it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of to the arm, but not too much. I don't want it like bulky. I don't want her to be like the Hulk. Seems good. Okay, make sure <laughs> which hand. Too, too tight. And cut it and then take your clippers and clip off that sharp piece. There, now it's no longer sharp. See, the little piece that came off. Now let's do the other side. Yay, I'm so happy. She is coming together. I never told you her name. Okay, I don't want it too bulky, but yet kind of looking like the same at least. for her head.
and try and cover up this Yeah, I'm so happy. This fits her good. This is a good size. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I'm just, uh, Yay! Ooh, she has a little belly, muscle belly going on there. Okay, so try and reposition her. Oh, she feels good. It's her little butt. Still floppy. Yay! I love her. Okay. Now. Yay! I'm happy it fits! Yay! Okay. So I found her a brand new Wonder Weaver that I have in the day. Hopefully it will look how floppy she is. Yay! Okay. A little thing on her. <laughs> this is a little thing. Okay. This is the outfit. I'm going to use her original band, but I have this dress. It's a size um, 0 to 3, but I put it on my newborn babies. It's a little big for, but that's okay. So I'd rather have it a bit big than a bit small. This was the dress I was going to sell with or add to the doll I had for sale. But she's still in my collection, I'm not selling her. Oh, yeah, it's a little big on her. But... <laughs> She's cute. She's sweet now. She's happy in her new body. And she's much more cuddly. Oh, look. <laughs> Aw, she's a cutie. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks guys so much for staying here. If you watched the whole video, thank you so much for spending the time with me. I hope that you guys are doing great. And a name reveal. I didn't do that yet. 
<laughs> she's just so happy. Look at her, she's like, yeah, what is my name, mommy? Well, welcome, Marissa Janelle. This is Marissa. Hi, Marissa. <laughs> she's so happy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love her. Like, I love her. She's so cuddly. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I hope that you're having a great day. And until next time, bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye, guys.